Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to make Conjuration a skill that you can actually use. You know, how to use it. Because for some of us, we have no idea how to use Conjuration. And for others, we are the foremost experts in conjuring stuff up. So what the heck is Conjuration used for? And let me tell you, it is, to me, it is like a multi-tool of spells. Kind of like how Restoration is kind of a multi-tool. Same thing with Conjuration. All right, now let's get into it. We're gonna start with the weapons. You know, to use the weapons. Now, you have the dagger, the mace, the bow, and the sword. Okay, the dagger, the mace, and the bow really aren't that useful because they don't do as much damage as something like a Deidre dagger, right? It doesn't do as much damage as that. The only way I could really see you using these three conjured weapons is if you need a melee weapon, because somehow you're almost out of everything, or you're fighting off like ten enemies with degrade weapons, so you're always, you know, running out of weapons, basically. That's the only reason I would see you using these three type skill, the, the three spells. Now the sword, the sword is where it gets interesting. The sword is actually the highest damage normal weapon in the game. It does 29 base damage. Umbra does 28. So, the sword is where it gets interesting. If, let's just say you're using Umbra, and you're in the middle of a fight, and it starts losing its durability, you can just pop this sword up real quick, and you're fine. I mean, yeah, you don't get to Soul Trap advantage, but really, like, Soul Trap, you only need to carry a couple souls, really. So you're not, you don't, you don't need to use Umbra 100% of the time for Soul Trap. If you want to save Umbra Soul Trap, you smack someone with Umbra, then conjure up the sword and smack them. And really, you kind of use this in case, you know, maybe Goldbrand runs out of charge, or you got a fire-resistant enemy. It's really, really good for that. And not only that, but if you can conjure up a sword, you can probably conjure up other stuff. And we'll get to the creature uses. So... That's really how I see the use of the weapons. The creatures, I like them for a lot of things. Let's say you're a tanky character who maybe forgot to upgrade his damage. Well, boom. I mean, I'm level 17 on my pure mage, and my zombie that I conjure up, which is basic zombie, does a lot of damage for being just a basic zombie. So, you know, you can conjure up some stuff that really beats the crap out of things. Or, which this is my favorite thing, the last use that I see for these creatures, is the distraction technique. When you're sneaking around, you conjure something up, and then you can sneak past the enemies. Or, maybe you're beating up the enemies, you have a low health. You conjure something up, and it tanks the hits, and you keep conjuring stuff up and healing at the same time. That's generally what I like to use these creatures for. Um, you know, and occasionally, you know, it's nice to just not have five enemies chasing you. Maybe two instead of five. You deal with the two, then only three are chasing you. You know, all these things. Now... Conjuration is part of the intelligence attribute. So if you need to have higher magic, and let's just, you know, say you need it, you can conjure stuff up over and over and over again. I mean, it doesn't affect your, like, you can cast it on yourself, and so you don't really have to go hurt yourself or go kill stuff. So you just conjure stuff up and grind up your conjuration skill, and then you got more intelligence. And then you can have higher magic. I know, I really, I really like that higher magic. I like having high magic because I like having magic in my characters. So that's really it for this video, guys. Let me know what you like to use Conjuration for the most in Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.